The messenger that travels across the interstellar space China's Keqiao 2 relay star was successfully launched. On March 20, 2024, with the launch of the Long March 8 Yao 3 launch vehicle, the Keqiao 2 satellite embarked on its journey to the Earth moon transfer orbit. After entering the lunar orbit, it will autonomously adjust to its final scheduled orbit and officially start its space mission. As a relay satellite for the fourth phase of the Lunar Exploration Project, Keqiao 2 not only has the important task of providing communication services with the ground for the Chang'e 6 lunar exploration mission to be launched this year, but also shoulders many other important missions. In this video, let us learn more about the interstellar messenger Keqiao 2. A relay satellite is actually a special communication satellite, also called a satellite of satellites. Among them, relay satellites operating in geostationary orbit are used to maintain two-way communication between the ground and spacecraft in medium and low orbits. So, when completing the lunar exploration mission, why don't we let the probe landed on the back of the moon directly communicate with the ground flight control center, but first launch a lunar relay satellite? The moon, the Earth's loyal companion, has danced with the Earth in space for more than four billion years. This long-term companionship gave birth to a unique phenomenon tidal locking. The Earth's gravity is like an invisible link, gradually synchronizing the moon's rotation and revolution, so that the same side of the moon always faces the Earth, guarding the Earth's night sky. The side facing the Earth is called the front side of the moon, which is why the face of the moon we see on a full moon night is always the same. The side that never faces the Earth is the far side of the moon. Before human probes flew to the moon, humans had never observed the far side of the moon. Even though lunar probes have successively sent us back rich data on the far side of the moon, communication problems must be solved first if we want to achieve soft landing and patrol survey on the far side of the moon. Otherwise, it will be impossible to conduct measurement and control communications and send back scientific data to detectors that land or patrol on the far side of the moon. In 2018, Chang'e 4 achieved the first soft landing and patrol survey on the far side of the moon. In order to measure and control the probe that landed on the back of the moon, and to receive the scientific data returned by the probe, scientists and engineers need to solve a problem first. That's how the Ground Flight Control Center and Earth Receiving Station communicate with the probe landing on the back of the moon. To this end, before the launch of the Chang'e 4 probe, China first launched the Keqiao Lunar Relay Satellite on May 21, 2018. Its function is to build a signal relay station between the back of the moon and the Earth. The signals emitted from the far side of the moon are collected through the Keqiao antenna and then transmitted to the Earth. Or vice versa, thus enabling signal transmission between the Earth and the moon. It weighs about 1.2 tons and has a design service life of 8 years. Keqiao weighs 448 kilograms and has a lifespan of 5 years. Keqiao 2 is equipped with a 4.2 meter diameter X-band parabolic antenna and a 0.6 meter diameter S-slash-ka dual-band parabolic antenna for transmitting data to the ground station. They can not only carry out stable communication and data transmission, but also forward various instructions from the ground to the detector. What is particularly eye-catching is the X-band parabolic antenna with a diameter of 4.2 meters. It is not only the most conspicuous symbol of Keqiao 2, but also the essence of its technology. This antenna is woven from fine gold-plated molybdenum wire. It is compactly folded during launch and elegantly unfolded after entering orbit. 
It is vividly called the golden umbrella because of its unique golden appearance. These molybdenum wires are only 15 to 30 microns in diameter, about a quarter of the thickness of a human hair, and the gold plating was chosen to take advantage of their excellent reflective properties. This precise structural design not only gives the antenna the necessary strength, but also ensures efficient communication, making it a key link between satellites and lunar probes. The first mission of Keqiao-2 is to serve Chang'e-6. As the backup of the Chang'e-5 detector, Chang'e-6 has been upgraded and transformed to shoulder a new mission. That is to land in the Aitken Basin in the southern hemisphere on the far side of the moon, perform detection and survey, collect lunar samples, and bring them safely back to Earth. No human spacecraft has ever carried out a sample return from the back of the moon before. It can be said that the Chang'e 6 mission is the most difficult and challenging lunar exploration mission in history. In order for Keqiao 2 to provide reliable communication guarantee for Chang'e 6, in addition to its own powerful equipment, its orbit is also very special. Since the landing site of Chang'e 6 is close to the moon's south pole, the working orbit of Keqiao 2 is designed to be an inclined ellipse. This orbit will set the far moon point on the south pole side of the moon, which will not only have a larger inclination angle, ensure longer-term stable communication between Keqiao 2 and the detector, but also reduce Keqiao 2's propellant consumption. Using this combination of far and near orbits not only allows the relay star to receive signals from the lunar surface more clearly, but the payload carried by Keqiao 2 can also conduct certain aspects of scientific observation of the moon. Of course, in addition to serving Chang'e 6, after Keqiao is decommissioned, Keqiao 2 also needs to adjust its orbit in a timely manner to continue to provide communication services for the Chang'e 4 lander and U-2 lunar rover that are still working hard on the moon. In addition, Keqiao 2 itself also undertakes some scientific detection tasks. Because it also carries an extreme ultraviolet camera, the Array Neutral Atom Imager and the Earth-Moon Very Long Baseline Interferometry, VLBI, test system to collect data from the Moon and deep space. So, what does the launch of the Keqiao-2 relay satellite mean to China? First of all, it adds a new glorious chapter to China's aerospace industry and shows the world China's strong strength in space exploration. Secondly, it will provide key support for China's future lunar exploration missions, provide important communication services for the Chang'e 6 lunar sampling mission, and provide reliable guarantee for the success of Chang'e 4 and other missions. In addition, the launch of Keqiao 2 also allowed us to see the amazing speed of technological development. In the past few decades, from the initial rocket testing to the construction of the current space station, scientific and technological progress has brought infinite space for human imagination. I believe that in the future, we will have more scientific and technological achievements, adding new color to mankind's dream of exploring the universe. In short, the successful launch of the Keqiao 2 Relay Star is a great scientific and technological feat. It will bring new opportunities and challenges to the development of China's aerospace industry and will also inject new vitality and power into mankind's dream of exploring the universe. Let us look forward to witnessing a more glorious tomorrow for human spaceflight. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.